If you're a fan of art museums, like me, then you've probably seen countless examples of beautifully, intricately carved jade from China, from pretty much every era of Chinese history. Few other gemstones connect with society the way jade has in Chinese culture. But why is jade so important compared to other minerals and gemstones? First things first, there are actually two kinds of jade most commonly prized, nephrite jade and jadeite jade. And for hundreds of years, no one knew that. They were both considered to be the same mineral, but by the 1860s, the science of gemology had improved enough that we were able to identify nephrite and jadeite as two different minerals. Though they're similar in appearance, the two varieties of jade have different physical, optical and chemical properties. Jade is classified as a rock because it's typically made of more than one mineral. Though primarily composed of the mineral jadeite, it also contains feldspar and an alcyme. Jadeite comes in many colors, but imperial jade, which is a fabulous emerald green color thanks to chromium, is the most valued. But here's the thing. Jadeite isn't the jade of ancient Chinese art and culture. What are you talking about, lady? In fact, jadeite didn't appear in China until the late 18th and early 19th centuries, when it was discovered in nearby Burma. Nephrite jade, a totally different rock, is what ancient Chinese artisans worked with. It was excavated from the mountains in the Xinjiang region. The jadeite was also found in riverbeds where it had washed down from the mountains. It was too hard to be fashioned with the metal tools available at the time, but that's nothing a little ancient innovation can't handle. They worked the jade with a brace of sand to shape the gem before drilling and polishing. Nephrite jade is comprised of silica, magnesia, and iron. The iron content is what determines nephrite jade's color. The more iron, the more green the stone. If there's less iron, nephrite can be colored yellow, blue, red, brown, and light purple. You can also find white cream color jade, sometimes called mutton fat jade. Nephrite's fibrous composition makes it one of the toughest materials on earth. It has the highest tensile strength of all natural gemstones, even more than some forms of steel. It's felt like fibrous structure is so strong, it can't even be chiseled, which makes its frequent use in the ancient world all the more impressive. In the West, we've historically attached great religious, cultural, aesthetic, and monetary value to gold. Jade plays a similar role in China. In fact, there's a saying, gold has value, jade is invaluable. Known as the Stone of Heaven, the Chinese have cherished jade for over 7,000 years. The actual physical properties of the mineral, its beauty, toughness, and rarity, imbued jade with moral and philosophical connotations. Jade ornaments were worn by the highest members of society, as well as scholars, to indicate their wise, heaven-like nature. The word jade dates back to about the time when the Spanish began exploring Central and South America. The Mayans and the Aztecs utilized jadeite jade to relieve kidney ailments by literally holding the stone on their bodies. The Spanish called it piedra de hijada, which literally means stone of the pain in the side. But jade, of course, is an English word. In China, it was known as yu, and that name included both jade and other jade-like stones. The oldest indications of humans working with jade appear in China around 7,000 years ago, during the Neolithic period. Around 2,000 years later, the earliest examples of the bee disc appear, the design that eventually came to symbolize heaven. Many objects found from these very early years show very little wear and tear, so it's likely they were primarily used for ceremony rather than as a functional day-to-day -day item. During the Shang Dynasty, ceremonial weapons, small figures, and ritual ornaments made of jade indicated a significant advancement in craftsmanship. These items continue to be crafted during the Zhou Dynasty, but of course, as eras changed, so did the designs. Additionally, iron tools became more readily available, which made carving jade that much easier for artisans. Beautiful and intricate jade objects continue to be created throughout the centuries. Han Dynasty jade is particularly admired. But by the 18th century of the modern era, jadeite jade made its way north from Burma into China. Jadeite's deep color was quite popular in the 18th and 19th centuries. Chinese artisans created some of the world's most beautiful works of art, all carved from jade. Jade figures can be highly symbolic. The bee symbolizes heaven, a butterfly can represent a long life, and the dragon, one of the most famous figures in Chinese art and culture, indicates prosperity and power. Jade is still very popular in China and its appeal is growing in the West. 
What does jade symbolize for you personally? Tell us about it in the comments and let me visit your workshop. Don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.